So same like any other languages, recursions, recursive calling of the functions is supported, but a pure recursive calling is not recommended, same as in Java. Um, for example, I mean, just, just let me uh, show you this. For example, we have a function sum. If I want to calculate sum of 10, so my intention is to sum 0 to 10 numbers. If that is my requirement, if I have to define my function sum of 10, so I can write my function definition as if that number itself is 0, then return 0. Else, if, if it is 10, 10 plus sum of 9. And this sum of 9 will become 9 plus sum of 8. And then it will become 8 plus sum of 7. Let me write down the notes as well. Okay. Um, so that way, um, I didn't even create the deal. Let me close some of the applications. Seems like CPU utilization is high. Okay. Let that be. So let that get opened. Okay. So if I define a function, sum of n which is of int and written type as int and uh, what i'm trying to do here is if n equals to if n is zero return zero else n plus sum of n minus one this is a recursive way of calling right if you call the same function within its definition so within the body of your sum function you are again calling that sum, that sum function then that is called as recursive okay recursive function calling so most of you you guys might be knowing that but uh, just a precaution that's it i mean nothing concept nothing syntax here um, if you are using i mean this precaution holds good for any other programming language um, if you are using sum of when you are using a recursive ways, if you have this, this will become 10 plus sum of 9. Okay. So this will become a recursive calling uh, slows like 10 plus 9 plus again sum of 8. Next time, it becomes like 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus sum of 7. Okay. So when you, especially you are using recursive functions um, without your notice if you are doing anything. Um, if you pass any huge numbers, this is a, uh, in backend, how does this gets implemented in the Java uh, interpreter? So it stores this 10 value in a stack, okay? And it's reference to that next method. And then it stores the nine. It's reference to sum of eight. If you have a huge number here, uh, just a, a value plus num function calling continues here there is a chance that your stack gets overflowed. Okay. 
so for that if you have any recursive uh, functions try to set them with tail recursive calls so how we can specify the same function here uh, the other way of writing the same is def sum n is your integer but i am giving the accumulator also as a parameter by default while calling i will i will make it as zero okay so i will define this time as n equal to zero return acc as it is if i pass acc accumulator as zero in the beginning that will be zero only else sum of n minus 1 comma acc plus n here this summation operation is happening then you are calling this method so this is uh, the difference between so this if i call sum of 4 with the previous recursive function this is the way that it gets called 4 plus sum of 3 4 plus 3 plus sum of 2 4 plus 3 plus 2 and sum of 0 then finally it starts getting added and then finally you'll get some but if you use tail calls if i call with sum of 4 comma 0 that will become sum of 3 comma sum will get added up first and then the next method will get called sum of 2 comma 7 sum of 1 comma 7 i hope you are uh, trying i mean you got the difference between these two so um, where, <coughs> excuse me where you are saying that sum should be uh, the 10 are you initializing that it should reach to 10 uh, while calling here um, i mean sum of 4 comma 0 if i call that so that will uh, get the final result as yeah. right so if i call sum of 4 comma 0 okay uh, this will become n is not equal to 0 it will go to else it will become sum of 4 or sum of 3 comma ac oh, okay you know? okay okay so when the sum of 0 when it reaches the first digit is 0 it will stop that's what you're saying right it will be keep on the yes uh, yes, yes. Uh, this, is, okay. yeah, this is where the stop point is if n equal to 0 acc okay that's where you have n minus 1 yeah okay all right okay so nothing much related to the scalar concepts but uh, i mean just this is just a kind of uh, sometimes if you ever get any stack overflow exceptions uh, just make sure that you, you don't do with this mistake with the functions especially when you are using recursion because if